So what have you learned about setting in the Big Ten your first two weeks in? Um, I mean, I think the preseason really prepared me, so it hasn't been too different, but I think just kind of realizing like people are getting more information on us, and so kind of making sure that I don't have those tendencies so people can't pick up on stuff has been really important and a big focus for us. But other than that, I think preseason really prepared us, and it's been, it's been a good transition. So knowing that teams are getting more, how do you kind of fight those tendencies, or what do you have to do mm-hmm. to counter, counter what other teams are preparing for? Yeah, I think we just kind of, me and Kelly have looked at some stats, we kind of look at that and see if there are tendencies forming, and then it's just kind of in the back of my mind, and I try and kind of go against those. Going into this weekend, how valuable is it having that road back-to-back experience under your belt? Um, it's been huge. I mean, we got tested last weekend. I think that was really the first time that we got super pushed and we felt that stress. And I think that, that was really good for us. And so we're coming back this weekend. We have that experience under our belt, but um, I think that just made us a better team, honestly. What did you learn about this team last weekend? Um, I think we're we're calm under pressure. We got, like I said, we got stressed a lot. And I think that there were a lot of times we could have just gotten frantic, lost control, whatever it was, but I think we stayed pretty calm for the most part. Um, We've been working on some things, cleaning up some things from last weekend, but yeah, like I said, I think we learned a lot and it was good for us to get that test. I assume one of those things you clean up is serving. I mean, how much time has been put in practice this week on that? Yeah, it's it's always a big focus, but especially this week, it's just making sure we're not going through the motions just because we do do it every day. We need to make sure that it's always mindful reps and that's been a really big focus. Did anybody get put in jail like Cook threatened? No, there was no jail. <laughs> we just got a little talking to. <laughs> what is it like for you knowing that a new hitter could come in at pretty much any point in a match, and how do you kind of adjust to that? I mean, I think that's something that our team has prided ourselves on, is just making sure that we do have that depth. And we've talked about ultimate trust since day one that I've been here, and I think that um, it is. It can be hard for other people coming in, but I think we all have that ultimate trust, so it's really not a big issue if we have to put other people in, and I think that's what makes this team so special. How do you think that you've improved since the start of fall camp to now? What, what areas do you think you've improved on? Um, I think just kind of nailing that tempo down. We have, it's not a super fast tempo, but we're getting that tempo down, and I think that we've just really like nailed that. It was a little inconsistent at the beginning, so I think that's been really big. And then um, just blocking D, I'm trying to always improve on, and I think that I've gotten better at the fast speed of college volleyball. What's it been like playing in these other Big Ten environments? You know, it's Big Ten volleyball, now you've been on the road with Purdue. And yeah. What's it been like? Yeah, Purdue and Indiana, they were tough places to play in, and I think that. Um, our team really thrived on that. I mean, we're a very competitive team. I think a lot of people have seen that. And so honestly, I think that that was something we kind of liked. We liked having all like people in our ears and people chirping us. I think it was kind of fun for us. What's key to getting that connection back with Andy? Obviously, teams are adjusting to her. Are there things on your end that you can fix to get that going again? Yep, yeah. We're just we're always working to make sure she has all her shots. She definitely has a shot that she likes, but we're just getting that connection down to make sure that she can always hit any shot. How, how dangerous does having both Harper and Merritt in the back row make this offense? What kind of dynamic does that add to what you can do? It's huge for us. I mean, it's just if a pass isn't perfect, a lot of teams you just can go to the outsides or go to the pins. And um, sometimes if they're in the back row at the same time, we have five hitters on. And so I think that that really stresses teams and um, puts them in hard positions because they have to stay disciplined and they don't want to. So that's been it's been big for us. And the back row has been hitting at a huge percentage. So we'll keep working on that. In the last couple of matches, we've seen someone set you and you take a big swing. What are those moments like for you? I mean, going back to my high school days, I was a hitter in high school, so I want the ball, but um, we just kind of, we worked on that a couple days ago, or last week in practice, and so we felt a little more comfortable actually setting it. Is that something you want to do more? (laughs) Is is that part of just being more aggressive, even when you're, whether you're setting or or attacking, just being more aggressive with when determined to get your, your shots in? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's... It's a big advantage being a tall setter, and so I think I need to use that more and kind of put myself in the offense a little more so that teams can't just leave to Andy or leave to Harper, whoever it is.